Hello in TV land. It's your boy Free. That's I, Joe. I gotta come up with a new one. Ready? Wait. Back again. Once again to get Kraken. I really shouldn't have stopped. That kind of completely threw off the entire momentum. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if I should have a very specific routine or if I should just wing it. Because clearly winging it doesn't always work so well for me. Well, I say clearly, presuming that my viewers have been watching my videos. Which, they wouldn't be viewers if they weren't watching the videos. So, yeah. Not, uh, not the best way to state that. Uh, again, an example of why I probably shouldn't be winging it. But then again, if I had to take the time to write an entire half-hour script, uh, I could probably only do this like once a month or something like that. So, winging it is what we'd be doing. Uh, welcome once again to a sort of interesting, perhaps, hopefully, sort of entertaining, perhaps, hopefully... More than likely a solid waste of time, but hey, you know, the airwaves are full of junk, so, and the internet is definitely full of junk, so I must do my part to add to that junk. Hmm. Not sure that's going to be the best tagline for my channel. Adding junk to the internet. Well, hey, content is content, right? I mean, if you ever look at, like, Netflix or Amazon Prime video, you look at some of those things they have on there and you're like, wow, people actually paid to make that? See, at least I'm doing this for free. <laughs> Which kind of, I mean, if you're paid to make junk, then you go ahead and make junk. And yet I'm making junk for free. Huh. Huh. Well, if you, if anyone has gone back and watched one of my very first few videos I explained why I'm doing this um, and it's not for entertainment nor is it for education well I guess it is education in a way but not and how most channels would do it so hmm at the very least uh, it's a vlog it's what I'm doing for half an hour a day so hey you get to join it with me enjoy it with me enjoy it with me that's am i enjoying it yeah well at least it ugh, boy still sweaty from uh from my workout which is why i'm looking extremely jacked right now uh, bench press today you know so the upper body is really yeah, except it's the legs that are sweating right now the entire core body temperature is is up there which again, why are you wearing the sweatshirt then if you're sweating? Well, I mean, that makes sense, right? You wear the sweatshirt to sweat. And yet, sweatshirts now are synonymous with comfort wear, as opposed to the eponymous name of a sweatshirt, which kind of implies that it really wouldn't be very comfortable, you know? Anyway, so what was I saying before I noticed how sweaty I was? Um, I think I was going to say... How y'all doing? I hope you're having a good day, a wonderful day. I'm recording this on a Thursday afternoon. And I'm pretty certain this is afternoon and not early morning. Or, well, duh, definitely not early morning. Early evening. I think I would qualify early evening as four, maybe? I would say four is like late afternoon or early evening. Five, well, I mean, no, nah, I would qualify five as evening. Definitely six. Six is definitely evening. Hmm. But whatever time it is that you're watching this on whatever day, I hope you're having a wonderful and great day. My day today has been wonderful and great. Or it has not been catastrophic. And if you have a very low benchmark to exceed, then it's very easy to have a wonderful and great day, like me. So, there you go. Happiness is, what, what did Dogbert say? Well, he said it was, happiness was low expectations and a bag of chips. I would kill for a bag of chips right now. Uh, 
I don't remember the last time I had a bag of potato chips. I really don't. I would, if I could have a bag of potato chips, what would it be? Um, I think it would be the Uts, the uh, sour cream and onions, the one in the green bag with the ridges. Those are those are awesome. I mean, Doritos, Cool Ranch Doritos are good too, but. Uh, uh, well, uh, my cheat day is tomorrow, so I only have to restrain myself for a little bit longer. Cheat diet day. Once a week, I get to eat what I, whatever it is I want to eat. It's always dangerous, though, because I end up going shopping while I'm hungry. And that is just such a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Um, suffice to say, I quite often buy much more than I should. And it's, my eyes definitely get bigger than my stomach. I mean, I get all these things, and then after eating like maybe one actual honest serving, I'm full. <laughs> but then I spend the rest of the week being really, really hungry because, uh, and diet again. And I only cheat on Friday. Ah. Cheat. That's an interesting way to, term it. Um, I mean, I guess it is a cheat, except it's planned. Uh, deviation, except again, it's planned. I wouldn't say controlled either, because it's definitely not controlled. <laughs> How would you say it? Uh, nutritionally unoptimal. There you go. Dietarily unoptimal. Because <laughs> there's a lot of nutrition in what I eat. A lot of calories anyway. Uh, but unoptimal for my goal of losing weight and or maintaining weight. Ugh. Oh well. Uh, I'm not here to bore you with my diet routine. I mean that would be an interesting segment. Dieting with Joe as well as training with Joe. Of course, I'm certain that as soon as I did training with Joe, I dropped the bar on myself, so that'd be really embarrassing. Plus, I definitely couldn't talk while I was doing my training. So, and I like to listen to music while I train. And so then we get in the whole copyright strike thing, so uh, uh, I mean, I could record it on my DSLR. And then overlay it with uh, some of the free tracks. Yeah, but I'd only do that if I was starving for content. And I'm not starving for content right now because I still got lots to do. If I'm dipping my chin, it's because the LaCroix uh, carbonation is doing its thing. I'm looking out my window. It's uh, I got a window here. Two windows back here, and then the patio door here, sliding glass door. Uh, this area actually should be, technically, a dining room. I just eat over the sink, so no need for a dining room. Hmm. All right, so I'm, I'm dragging on. You're here. Well, I'm sure you're here just to see me, not to see my freelancer activities. But uh, the content for this video is supposed to be freelancer stuff, so let's switch to freelancer stuff. Now, before I begin, I'm going to try to minimize, and I want to see, I'm going to hit window, the window button, and let's see if we see a bunch of G's pop up in here. Window? No, no G's? Okay. Ah, there's the G's. Had to have focus. <clears throat> uh -huh. uh, okay, I definitely got the hang of it now. So let's shrink myself down. Oh, if only it was this easy. I wouldn't have to have six days of dieting. Um, and where did we stop yesterday? We stopped. I wrapped up my Dynamo Dini, Dini, DB Lambdas, or at least the uh, basic demos, to show... Not how, but that I 
can programmatically insert and retrieve uh, and query for data within DynamoDB on Amazon Web Services. And so what does that leave me? Well, Lambda-wise, um, one thing I could do is to have the Lambdas make external calls to other APIs. Um, but yeah, you know, I gotta wonder about that. I think I would only want my Lambdas to communicate to other AWS services, which is all internal. So they don't have to make any external calls. And if I did need to make an external call from the front end, I would just have it make the call, uh, like how it calls the Lambdas. So I don't think I need to do that. There might be a particular case for it, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. And even if I did, I could just use the same fetch method that I have in my UI because it's all JavaScript. Um, and then there was Cognito. And you know what? I'm actually going to, well, let's see. I, I won't go too much into Cognito right now because I'm still playing with it, but let me see. Uh, uh, MPN. All right, there we go. So Cognito is Amazon's is the Amazon Web Service for handling user identity. User identity. Well, uh, let's say you have uh, customers, so you want them to have accounts, right? User accounts. We can use Cognito for that. Uh, as opposed to me uh, creating a DynamoDB table to maintain the users and then have to worry about the security aspects of, of it, you know, encrypting passwords and, and all that jazz. Oh, or we can just let, because uh, AWS, Amazon has already solved that problem, so we'll just use their solution. And that solution is called Cognito. Now, uh, Okay, so this, which we see here, this what this uh, UI right now is actually, the other thing I was thinking about working on was my third template. Um, and so I kind of just chucked it in there, in here for now. I haven't done anything for this template style-wise. It's just a straight clone of the pure template I have. But I was just messing around with the code to show, to see if I could get my Cognito integration working. And as, as you can see, it does. What's pretty cool about this, I mean, so you can specify your own uh, your own UI portion of the, you know, the, the login form, uh, or you can use the default one that comes with Cognito or that Cognito supports, and this is the default one, and it's real cool because it even has recent password, create account, and you can change the style for it too. So that's nice. And it also supports integration with other platforms. So right now, you know, I can create my own account that's managed by Cognito, <clears throat> or I can sign in with my AWS account. And it also supports hooks for logging in with Facebook or Google Plus or Twitter. So when you've gone to a website and, you know, uh, let's see, uh, like Voodoo, for example, I know if you log in there, it says, you know, you can log in with your Voodoo account or with Facebook, right? So it's the, that same kind of deal. And so this is the default one. And uh, let me see if the login works, if I remember correctly, I think it should just go right back to here. It'll still display the form. Well, actually, you know, first we're gonna not log, log in correctly. And that's where we go. And that, sign in. And do we get yeah incorrect username or password? All right. And let me see. Uh, this should be the correct one. And boom, there. And we're logged in. Ooh, that's neato. Neato. Neat, neat, neato. I didn't realize it went away like that. It's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, 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 but. But 
that's not the whole point. I'll dig into that later because, like I said, I'm still playing around with it. The way it's set up right now, it's really meant to wrap the entire application. Um, but really, uh, I think for most people, what you kind of want is, uh, I mean, they can view your entire site, but then there's only one specific part that's blocked off that requires you to have an actual account. Um, right, so Cognito I'll dig into later. I'll play around with that this weekend. So we can, I can work on this template sidebar, this template, which is going to feature a sidebar. And the third thing was, I was thinking about trying to find a React component that supports calendars. Um, why? Well, so I, I think a really cool feature for clients, uh, like let's say Bell Music School, if they have events and, and classes and whatnot, is so they can update. I could create a Lambda that allows them, or that will pull data back from DynamoDB that contains events. And then I could have a, the calendar populate with those events. Uh, but that requires me to start digging around for stuff. And so we won't do that just right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with a template uh, work for now. I got about, what, 13 minutes? I can at least show you what I kind of envision. All right, so what is the sidebar? Well, you see that? That's the sidebar. So what am I gonna do with it? Well, hmm, hmm. My idea was to actually have the navigation items here. So where you see here, it says view home, view one, view two, view three. I would have a sidebar that pops out and contains that thing here. Um, but then this already has the navigation items too. I can put a logo here and then social media icons here. See, this is GitHub, right? And this is, what is this? Oh, that's cute. I assume that's for... I know that. That's easy. What is this? What did I just click on? Oh, cool. That thing goes right there. Alright. So, let's go ahead and... So, I think... I, I like that. I like that. We'll have a... We'll still have an app bar, but it'll have the social links there. And the sidebar will contain the, the navigation items. Now, it's actually a little clumsier, in all honesty, from a user perspective, because I have to click twice in order to navigate. Um, but I think it's also cleaner, too. Um, so let's look for a demo for the sidebar. And see if there's a sidebar that I like. Uh, wait, it was sidebar, wasn't it? It's not an app bar, is it? No, about side navigation. Uh, avatar badge, button, the card, dialog, divider, drawers. Drawers. It's a drawer. All right, so we had a temporary door. Oh. <laughs> permanent drawer. This is a permanent drawer. Uh, I still like the slide drawer. Ooh, clip drawer. Vision That's kind of cute. Eh. All right, we'll go with uh, da, 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 da. we'll just go with the temporary drawer for now. All right, so according to this, 
temporary drawer, side list, full list. There's the buttons. This is the drawer. Uh huh. Uh, the drawers, left, right. Okay. Hmm. Now I could just copy this. All right. So what I want to do, though, what I want to do is have these things configurable like it is right now. Huh. Uh, I'm not going to make much progress on this. This is actually going to be quite a bit of work. I don't think I'll, uh, I'll even be able to get it to pop up, to be honest. Um, 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 uh, all right. So right now, the way the app bar is configured is all right you know a toolbar right this is how those buttons get defined so i'm going to want to move those into a sidebar so that's fine but toolbar is going to contain the social links. Where do I have the social links? Yeah, right here. So we'll just go ahead and copy these over. And that goes into tool. Uh, uh, so I have to change that entire structure. That sucks. See, right now, toolbar is an array, so I can't just drop that social stuff in there. <laughs> That's one problem, so i got to rework the toolbar. Eh, you know what? Let's go ahead and rework the toolbar first, because I also have to add in the top bar. Uh, and the top bar is pretty much the same as what the bottom dart bottom dar bottom bar does now. Move over yeah. There we go. Alright, and bottom bar. Top bar. Okay, alright, alright, alright. So this guy basically title renders the navigation buttons all right so we're not going to render navigation buttons we're going to render uh social i, I wonder if the camera just picked up that spit i hope it didn't render social uh, do i call them links i bet you i call them links i don't know i call them buttons Yay for me! <laughs> well, that's interesting, I don't print the debug message. Yeah. All right, social buttons, classes, UFG, toolbar, bar, socials. So I need a tooltip and an icon button. I got tooltip and icon button, that's fine. It goes to open window requested. Uh, transition. Let's see if I import that or pass it through. I'm looking for. I'm looking for ye. Not not you. Looking for you. And view container. All right. Okay. I 
I'm going to have to clean this up a lot too. So this one, this template's actually going to be very different from, not very different, but sufficiently different from the others. So it's not going to be quite as smooth. Render social buttons. Toolbar.socials. All right, you're complaining about something. You're complaining about you, I bet. Yes. So toolbar. Da, da, dot socials. Toolbar. Dot socials. I have this right here. Uh, mm, uh, because I do this. Well, first let's go ahead and put that in there. But because I do that, that means this navigations buttons function wouldn't work anyway. So I'll go ahead and get rid of that. And oh, oh. I bet you I don't need this function anymore either. But we'll leave it in there for now. And so this guy calls that. So let's call that. And let's see what that does. No, it's going to restart. It'll probably ask me to log in again if it comes up. Uh, uh, that came up. Am I missing an import? Am I missing a definition? Am I missing? I'm missing something. <coughs> Default toolbar is undefined. Really? Toolbar. UI CFG dot tool. Huh. That's interesting. Right. It's interesting and strange. Ah, there we go. Alright, so we got that started. Let's see if that worked. So, Google. Okay. Alright. Alright, yeah. So, then ideally I would have the title of your name, client name, here. And I would have the hamburger button. That's uh, this little guy. Right? Yeah. And then when you click on it, that drawer is going to pop out and it's going to have that what it used to have there before. But I rambled on a little bit too long about my diet. So I'm going to wrap this up for now. Actually, you know, let's go ahead and commit it. Git. Git status. Git commit dash am. Mm -hmm. Start. Uh, uh, top bar changes. Top bar social buttons. Git push. This is to back my stuff up. Back it up. Back, 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 back it up. Backed up. Alright, so I'm going to wrap this up for now. Uh, uh, I probably won't do anything more on this particular thing tonight, but I will this weekend. However, tomorrow is going to be gaming with Joe, so I... Uh, Alright, I was double checking to make sure I wasn't on mute. So tomorrow's gaming with Joe. Um, and I hope you join me, um, if that's your time. Um, and if not, um, I'll see you the next time that I see you. And in the meantime, I hope that you take care and God bless.